Hi guys and welcome back to another Sims 4 build video! This time we are renovating an abandoned church that I built in the last video so if you haven't seen that video I'll put a card in the top right hand corner and you can check it out! So to start the renovation we are just getting rid of all the brambles and debris and all the ivy as well as the gravestones doing a bit of a landscaping it's probably harder to get rid of gravestones in real life there's probably laws and stuff about it but that's okay in the sims we don't have to worry about that so yeah just removing all the ivy off the walls to make it look like you know they've come in they've bought this building they're doing the outside up they're getting rid of all the foliage and all the bad ivy getting rid of all the stuff on the inside so that the people who've come in can have a clean slate for this renovation. I love watching renovation programs and really grand building programs like Grand Designs. I don't know if you have that anywhere else but <laughs> it's a really cool program if you're into architecture and interior design. It's so fun to watch. Oh yeah and for the stones on the outside I'm using the same swatch but just getting rid of the moss as such so it looks like they maybe they just power wash the outside to get rid of all the algae and wash. Uh, oh, and the same with the pillars, although I'm kind of changing the colour to make it black, going, kind of going for a contrasting black and white colour theme. Yeah, it's currently raining as I'm recording, so apologies if you can hear that, it's pretty loud. But um, I actually like the sound of rain, so I wouldn't mind. <laughs> but you might mind, if so, I'm sorry. But yeah, going for lots of like uh, glass and stone, and again, like I said, black and white, so it's really contrasting build putting in some nice modern doors to go against the old stone and I think I end up putting in loads of big windows because like I say lots of glass make it really light inside really big yeah these nice big rounded ones I think I go for the ones you just saw <laughs> I think I go for them in the end but um yeah these ones here really like them they still have that kind of church feel but again letting a lot more light than the ones we had before making it really nice and bright and airy yeah I feel like this would be a good build for if they had like an architecture design career in The Sims 4 that would be such a fun career choice to have so you can like have, they have like set buildings you could go in and do up as part of your job that would be awesome oh it really is raining really loud <laughs> It's awful weather outside today in England, but that's always the case in England. All we know is rain and wind <laughs> and grey skies. I think that's why people here are miserable most of the time. <laughs> but yeah, just putting in the post box in the bin outside because I often forget to do that. Oh yeah, and I kept the um, stone wall at the back here, at the back of the pool, and then put the glass either side because I really love when just old stone and glass contrast each other and I put a really long pool to kind of like that affinity pool kind of look <laughs> and then I think yeah we just do like a conservatory here again just adding lots of glass I don't think I went for that shape in the end because I am too lazy to roof it so I went for a more boxed conservatory yeah I love the fact we now have glass roofs in The Sims 4 it's so amazing I don't think we've had that before in The Sims well not that I can remember anyway I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but no, I don't remember us having glass roofs before. I think the glass roofs are really fun and interesting to play with. I'd love to see what some people come up with with them. Like I've seen people do skylights and stuff and I think that's so clever. And oh, wouldn't it be cool if they did like a princess carriage, you know, like um, the glass carriage from uh, Cinderella? I forgot her name then, she's like one of the OG princesses. <laughs> I forgot her name, how rude of me. Um, yeah, just adding in some foliage, making it nice and green to make it nice and fresh and new. Like they've come in and like re-landscaped the whole place, which would be super awesome. And totally something you would do if you were renovating a new building. <laughs> you would take care of the outside as well as the inside. So yeah, making it look nice and modern, very clean lines, lots of glass, like I say, the water reflecting as well. It's a really pretty build, I think. You can find it on the gallery. I will put uh, my name in the description below so you can go find me. And you can see all my other builds too. I also have the original abandoned one up there as well. So you can have the done up version or the version you want to do up yourself and you can renovate it however you like. Yeah, just making a fun little outdoor space here. I feel like this build will be good for single sims or like a single couple sims like professional sims who like to entertain guests maybe you know have people around have some garden parties which is yeah it's why we turn this little conservatory into like a bar area so it's like they came in and they added on the space to have us like their entertaining space 
have all their friends round and have parties, really professional. Yeah, I really liked it. I really like how this little bar area ends up turning out. See you in a moment. Uh, like I said, yeah, using a lot of black and white in this build. We've got this big industrial lights. Um, I, I tried to add some lots of greenery in here, but I think I kind of changed my mind against that. Yeah, and we went for the bar instead. I was originally going to make it like an actual plant conservatory. But I think these type of people are much more modern. They don't really care for plants, except for very tapered <laughs> trees outside. But um, deciding on the bar, I really like these new ones we got with the Get Famous pack. It's really cool that we've got some new bars. I didn't know it was something I was missing until they added some new ones, which is fun. Yeah, just adding little bits of green as like a pop of colour, but in a very modern way here. Oh, and I really like these bar stools that came with Get Famous as well. Very really cool. And I think that so far is from the luxury stuff pack. I could be wrong. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, just making it a really fancy, formal place for you to have some drinks. The kind of people who come home from work and just pour themselves a glass of wine. I, I did put those um, giant painting there for a while because I really do like all those those canvas type ones. But when you looked from the outside, it just looked way too, <laughs> way too in your face. So we got rid of that, and I think we replaced it with just some bottles along the back for the bar, which looked a lot more classy and subtle from the outside and the inside. So yeah, the whole long garden, the bar and the little outside dining area, that's all kind of like an entertaining space. But then we're going to go on the inside and this is going to be mostly the living space. Quite, I think I keep it really open planned. Uh, I tried putting in a staircase for ages because for some reason I thought I built an upstairs, but I didn't. <laughs> I obviously forgot what I did in the original abandoned church build and it's just a roof up there. So I don't know where those stairs were leading and it took me for ages trying to find a place to put them because obviously they wouldn't fit because there was a roof in the way, which I find out now. <laughs> so I left that bit in because life is full of mistakes and me trying to build is one of them. Yeah, moving on to the layout, I think the only thing I wall off is the bathroom. I think everything else has remained open planned, uh, except I believe maybe a half wall for the bedroom to kind of give it a bit of privacy. But yeah, just doing that really kind of weird fun shape for the bathroom there, which made furnishing it quite interesting. But I didn't want to like block off too much, I wanted to keep it very flowing, very open plan. Yeah, I've had real fun doing this build. I had some real fun furnishing the inside and doing the layout. Uh, you know, giving it a modern theme from a really old looking church. So I think I might do some more renovation type builds in the future. And uh, if you want to see more renovation type builds from me, then click the like button down below and I will know that that's what you guys want to see. What would be some cool buildings to uh, renovate? Maybe like an old warehouse or like an old factory? Or, ooh, we could do like a lighthouse, that'd be cool. That'd be cool in Brindleton Bay, because <laughs> they have a lighthouse, I think. So that'd be fun. Yeah, it's kind of like endless possibilities in The Sims. But also, some things you're kind of limited on, like if you're trying to recreate something, and obviously without CC, you can, it can be hard with the limited objects we have, but you can't include everything, otherwise it'll be a huge, huge strain on all of our computers. But yeah, uh, we're doing the kitchen now and I really like these counters. I think they're from the spa day pack and I kind of include them in that pillar there to make it look like they're built around it, which I thought was really fun. Keeping it, like I said, really black and white, really sleek, really modern. I like the curved edges on these counters as well. It really kind of flows with the curved windows and just like the whole design and layout because we've got those big circular lights as well. So yeah, uh, put a bin in because that's another thing I forget when I'm building, just for myself I always forget to put bins in. And I think we did like a little coffee machine and a little dishwasher, finding, oh yeah, finding a nice big painting to add some little colour to the section because it looked a bit too black. But then I didn't want the brightest painting so I think we end up going with like a blue toned painting, I could be wrong, oh yeah, yeah, yeah that one there, the night sky one, so again quite modern, quite fun. And then near the door here, I think we just put like a little shoe slash coat rack thing that we got from Seasons in a minute. I really like those things. I think they're so handy. I wish like we could interact with things like that, like they could go and put their coat on as they go outside. But um, is that asking too much? Probably. It's probably asking too much. <laughs> yeah, I really like the big stone walls on this building. It's not the kind of thing you'd normally have for like a living space for your Sims. 
so I think it's really fun and at the moment we're just working on the little living room area like I said it's pretty much open plan so we get some sofas I don't know which ones I settle with in the end but I think they end up being black and white along the little coffee table and then I think we do some like contrasting rugs and some paintings on the wall and make it look like a real designer or artist or creative type person live here and I think it ends up looking really nice it's one of my favorite parts of the build and yeah it's like a little entertaining area again someone who has lots of friends around they all like to sit around and watch movies together really fun really bright but yeah just adding oh yeah I really like that new light the um one again I think that came with the get famous oh and that new fireplace yeah that new fireplace is great it was came with the free update so if you haven't updated your game yet you should because it comes with like loads of little different options like candles and logs and you can light it and decorate it and use it how you want it's kind of just like the frame of the fireplace it's really fun I think it's really useful then just kind of using some pictures and mirrors along the back wall there to kind of make like a little makeshift gallery wall I love gallery walls it's like my favorite thing to search on Pinterest <laughs> I'm like one I'm a Pinterest hoarder it's just like electronic hoarding Pinterest is so fun especially for like if you do love interior design stuff and different quirky furnitures it's a great place to find lots of stuff so yeah over here we're just adding like a little makeshift office area of like a bookcase and a desk so if these are sims that do like design work at home or they are artists this can be their little area it's really fun really cute we had a pop of color using the red lamp and the red painting there uh, I think it's not a painting it's like a movie poster but still it's fun ties it all in and it goes nicely with the pinks on the little living room side but yeah just adding some color into the build and like I said keeping it mostly really contrasting so black whites reds just really contrasting colors then I think we go on to the bathroom which like I said because of the shape I made it was uh, interesting to furnish though I think we get everything in there um, not the most exciting room in the build but it will get the job done <laughs> it will be used for all their needs and it's functional and they can all fit in there so that's fine just keeping it pretty clean fairly modern like with the rest of the build so yeah pretty plain we got like a rug and I think we put a painting in there and some towels so it's not too plain but not too exciting nothing fancy and then oh yeah a little toilet roll holder they need that that's important <laughs> can't be caught without that and then yeah then we go into the bedroom area it's a double bedroom but it's like a little one bedroom build it's all like on one level so it's kind of like a bungalow church but um you could always add another room or another floor if you wanted to uh, but yeah this will be up on the gallery for a download and like i said so will the previous abandoned version as well so you can renovate it yourself or you can have my renovated version and yeah if you like this video don't forget to give it a like and if you haven't and you want to please subscribe to my channel and let me know down below if you want to see any more renovation builds like before and afters I think they're pretty fun to do and let me know if you've done this before yourself and let me know if it's up on the gallery and I can check out your work that would be super fun but yeah I really like how this bedroom turned out as well we've got like the warm pink tone on the back and lots of dark browns keeping it nice and warm and neutral uh, just adding like little plants and rugs and I think we put some nice paintings from uh, uh, cats and dogs along the back wall there and yeah it's really fun I think it's really kind of modern warm inviting nice little cozy space in the big open plan room nicely tucked away there but yeah that's the build I think we're gonna go into some screenshots so yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like and I will see you next time. Bye!